Hi guys, it is me, Pat Fagar, and I'm doing a re-review of the Lego Technic tow truck uh, vehicle, and this is the B model. I built it, started yesterday, finished today, and um, it's freaking huge. I mean, it's about um, an inch, is about 30 inches, I believe, something like 72 uh, no, 57 centimeters. So yeah, it, it's very, very long. Um, you're supposed to put a small car on here. And for features, uh, turn this knob and uh, you can raise the boon. On that knob there, it's just for the hook thing and we've got a little hope you can see it lever here turning this will rotate the crane arm left and right uh, sorry for the poor quality but it's Sunday morning I had a party yesterday so it got late, or early I should say, and I'm a bit hangover. Um, the vehicle also has pneumatics, and basically what it does is it... Let me put the camera down, so I don't wobble as much. See, it... It raises... That part, so now you can move the truck away, and you can also lower it so that it now can't really see where the hole is, but you can lower it back again so it's back and onto the truck itself. So let's take this away. A little bit back because mainly that's the biggest thing of the B model. And the truck itself here is the A mo uh, is smaller. Hello compact. It looks really like uh, your basic truck. You know, here's where the trailer goes. It has some lights at the end. Uh, oh. I'm breaking stuff. Uh, landed it. Nice gas tanks. So it's got the Rhino 24 7 logo on it. Little doors that open, and you can see steering wheel uh, seats. And I believe. Nope. The. Uh, nope. Can't really see the control panel from here. It also has uh, rear view mirrors that just stick or doesn't shine back. Uh, the other door also opens. We've got the front of the truck. As you can see it looks pretty bulky. You can see this, the engine in there. And like your regular truck, you can fold this open and you can see the V6 engine. So it's nice with the, uh, the little fan it has there, and see it, it also it, it works. So this B model isn't that difficult to build. Um, I also don't think it's any spectacular nice or something like that. But. Uh, Still, it was fun to build, but, but you buy this set for the A model, which I will need to rebuild, but first I got to take this apart again. The big downside about the B model is, if you really like this B model, where are you going to display it because it's freaking huge. Um, let's see, what do I have in comparison? 
a CD marker. You know, everybody has CD markers. There. Let's zoom all the way back. As you can see how big it is. But still pretty cool. Anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. This is Belfica with uh, the B model of the Lego Technic tow truck. Um, to be precise, let me check on the box number that is uh, 8285. So 28285. Uh, if you're really interested in this kit, um, it's a kit from last year or even the year before. Um, then it was pretty expensive, it was about, I believe, 120 euros to, to 150 euros, depending on where to buy it. And I'm guessing it's a little bit cheaper right now, especially if you can buy it uh, on eBay or, or some other online thing. So yeah. And we are fast forwarding a few days and the A model is built. As you can see it's a real cool looking tow truck vehicle. And I have the mirror not well adjusted. Um comes back with a whole lot of nice uh, stickers, sticker detail such as the 24-7 Rhino logo, road service, there's a like the aluminium grill type thing, there's gas tanks, exhaust pipes, and it also has mirrors which are stickers, and inside you can see a seat, a door here opens, See seat and uh, I don't know if you can tell the board computer now, but it's behind the steering wheel is the onboard computer. Other door on the other side also opens and closes. The hood of the car also folds over, revealing the cool V6 and working condition also the Rhino logo the front of the truck looks really big nice grill thing it has a license plate sticker also so that's a very very nice um, yeah this truck has a lot of features and it's also it's very very big um, let me take the adding it's not as big as the B model see this this is the adding again let's see align it with front of the truck and yeah that's about how big it is still pretty big, I mean about 60 centimeters something and the features that it comes with let me try and rotate this a bit there's a right here is a rotating knob if I rotate this and yeah, there you can see it and it raises the back of the truck a bit, get it for some stability, you know. But it actually, it barely see the wheel is off the ground. This wheel is still on the ground. If I close them up again, you'll see that this wheel is also on the ground. Open these cabinets on each side, 
this reveals two switch twisting knobs other side has one twisting knob let's try and get that so, it has one twisting knob and it has the pneumatic switch what does everything do? well first on the left side twist in one knob raises the crane arm and it go, can go pretty big, pretty high it's got a side view it goes pretty high here this yellow lever if you push that in the it should wait a second it doesn't work right now but and I rotating the other knob extends the crane I need a little more action on the rope it can extend even more you can see the gears rotating and now it's really really tall as you can see I'm all the way back do you know how tall the truck is on that crane arm is almost as big as the truck itself and it has a really long uh, rope I guess it's on the table here just a regular table and I'm thinking that the hook will reach the ground and it's all the way extended I can give it a try Just put it a little bit down let's give it a try shall we there it it's easily on the ground and the truck is all the way at the edge of the table so it's a really really long piece of rope that came with it which is also cool the pneumatic switch if I flick it that's this raises the front bar and flip it the other side I will lower it this here, push the yellow bit there, Just gently push it, and uh, some hydraulics, you can see here the hydraulic thing, um, lowers this, and you can put a car with the front or the back wheels in here, and then you can race with the car on it, you can raise this up, and you can tow a car. That's why it's a tow truck. Gently bring this back up, and uh, it stays up just by the uh, uh, hydraulic piston. I also got some other models with also have a hydraulic piston, and that piston doesn't work anymore. But I'm really glad this one still functions the way it should function. Let's put it nice flat again. Flick the switch. There. All in all, it's a really cool looking truck. I'm really glad I, I bought this. Building this big daddy takes around six to eight hours, I think. And that's with all the pieces in one big box. And what else? What else can we say about it? 
Wait, let me just alright, lower that a bit. The it's the hook is also uh, made of metal. And let's lower this so I can get it all in one shot. The downside about this is you can see the pneumatic uh, pump real easy. That just kind of sad thing. There. You can see that pump there, that yellow thing there. A little bit too well. It has 10 wheels. Uh, these are, are dual wheels on each. There's are two wheels, two wheels also on the other side. Let's try if I can see. I can gently lower it, put it on its side. Let's zoom in a little bit so you can perhaps see some details. There's also the pneumatic uh, bar rod that pushes the thing up. Really long drive shaft because it does go from all the way there till the engine which is right up there. Oopsie daisy. As, as also mentioned in the B model, um, pretty expensive. I'm guessing about 130 euros, so 120 euros, something like that. And perhaps it's even cheaper now because this is one or two years old. This, this model, but it does look really nice. I have an old uh, shelf somewhere, uh, a code rack. I don't know how you call it. And this is displayed on there. And it does look really cool. And yeah, I like it. I also want another Lego Technic truck, but it's also still too expensive. Anyway, I guess that's about it. This is Belvegor saying until the next time. Goodbye.